Surah number 9 of the Quran In which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down this revelation اِتَّخَذُوا أَحْبَارَهُمْ وَرُحْبَانَهُمْ أَرْبَابًا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ That they took their priests and their rabbis as Lord and God beside Allah Oh, worshipping your priest instead of Allah? Worshipping your rabbi instead of Allah? That's terrible. Wal Masih ibn Maryam. And they did the same thing with the Messiah, the son of Mary. Worshipping him instead of Allah? Wama umiru illa ya'budu ilahan wahid. But they had not been ordered other than to worship one God. La ilaha illahu. There is no God beside him. Subhanahu. Glory be to him. Amma yushrikun. Far removed is he from this. From this. From this. Shirk. Oh, that's a terrible word. Shirk. Why is it so terrible? Allah says, Tell my servants. If they come to me with sins as high as the sky, I'll forgive them all. Inna Allah yaghfiru zunuba jamia. Allah is prepared to forgive all sins, but not shirk. The one sin He will not forgive if you die with that sin. Oh, it's a terrible sin. Shirk. And if you worship the priest and the rabbi as God beside Allah, you commit shirk. So a man came to the Prophet and said, O Messenger of Allah, the Christians do not worship their priests. The Jews do not worship their allies, their rabbis. How could Allah say so? Good question, eh? To which the Prophet replied, and he said, did they not make halal what Allah made haram? <coughs> that is their shirk. So to make halal what Allah made haram, or to make haram what Allah made halal, is shirk. And did the people not accept it and follow them in it? That is their shirk. And 